It's live on KEXP. I'm your host, DJ Morgan, from listener-powered independent 90.3 FM KEXP in Seattle, where we stream online all over the world at kexp.org and our free mobile apps. And we are live at the Thing Festival out here in Port Townsend, Washington. How y'all doing today? Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. We are so excited to have in the house right now Catalyst. Please take it away.
That was amazing. Catalyst live here on KXP from ThinkFest. Well, let's hear that for him again. That was amazing. Thank you. Wow. Stick around. We're going to take a short break, reset, and then I'll come back and we'll chat with Catalyst a little bit. This has been Catalyst live on KXP from Think Festival. I'm DJ Morgan from KEXP. We just wrapped up an amazing live session from Catalyst here live at the Thing Festival playing songs from their 2020 album, Nine Lives, and uh, an unreleased song as well. Can you all please introduce yourselves and tell our audience what instrument you play in the band? I'm Brian Hargrove and I play keys. I'm Brandon Cordoba, I also play keys. I'm Greg Paul and I play the drums. Marlon Spears, I play bass. My name is Ahmad DeBose Dawson. I play percussion. Jonah Levine, and I play trombone. I'm David Otis, and I play saxophone. I'm Corbin Jones. I play baritone sax and other things. <laughs> awesome. You all were so amazing today. Thank you again for playing for us. How long have you been a band? How long have you been playing together? Um, we've been playing together for a really long time, but we've been officially established as Catalyst since the end of 2014. Uh, and you're based in LA? Yes. Yes. Cool. Do you um do you do more of improv or do you compose these songs especially on the album? Um we improv compose. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to let my man Marlon uh, take it over. <laughs> I was not signaling to take the mic, but uh we do a little bit of both. Uh so I think we've really formed our our sound at the Townhouse. It's a uh, speakeasy in uh, Venice, California. Uh so we had a residency there I believe since 2017. And so there we pretty much just do whatever we want. We kind of just play around and kind of feel the vibe. And then from that, we will go into the studio and kind of do the same process. So we would maybe lay the groundwork and then layer things on top of it. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit of both, I would say. Yeah, it, sor it sort of started out as a necessity because we only had so many tunes that everyone had written. And at a certain point it was like, we need to play some new stuff. So um, that eventually became something we do, you know, as part of our sound and, and it's sort of changed the entire way we, we do everything now. So. Awesome. So here at the Thing Festival, you're part of the Jazz is Dead showcase. And this past July, you uh, released an album, number 13, on the Jazz is Dead label, Catalyst as the featured artist. Uh, for those who are not familiar, can you give a little background about Jazz is Dead and, and what's sort of the mission of it? Um, that's interesting. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm still learning about it every day. Uh, we got connected with Jazz is Dead. Um, kind of through Andrew Lajero. I used to play um, this residency at the Speakeasy that Marlon mentioned earlier with uh, violinist Miguel Atwood Ferguson. And at the time, uh, Andrew, who's the uh, co-founder and manager of Jazz is Dead, was the manager of Andrew. And so, you know, we kind of got cool. And um, as they were starting the Jazz is Dead project and bringing in the elders to record, um, Andrew would call me to play drums. So I played drums on a lot of those, the previous albums, one through 12. Um, and yeah, from that they discovered Catalyst and you know, we developed a relationship and you know, thus the collaboration was born. From what I understand these, oh, did you wanna Oh no, I was gonna say in? he gotta talk into the microphone, so. Can, can y'all hear me? You say? I said he has to talk into the microphone. Oh. <laughs> can y'all hear me, Seattle? Yes. He does it on, on shows too and the audience always complains they can't hear him all the way. <laughs> He's so. like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we need to talk about this, man. Yeah. <laughs> right now. We, can we plug this? Can we can we kill this mic? For a second. What's that? Can, can you kill, kill that mic? mic? <laughs> Is that one not doing well? No. Oh, man, I keep going. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the, uh, the the kind of the conception of Jazz Dead and Catalyst, you know, union. Yeah, from what I understand, so um, Adrian Young and Ali Shaheed Muhammad are, are trying to have sort of the older, more established jazz artists um, have new albums and breathe new life in, into the, um, the history of jazz. Are you one of the only contemporary jazz bands that are on that label so far? Uh, yeah. I, the I, only one, yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, I think Adrian said we we're the first uh, younger band that he's worked with so far. So uh, there'll probably be more in the future. That's an honor. Yeah. We the first. Yeah. We the first. That's amazing. Yeah, it is an honor. 
So you, you've done uh, this collaboration with Jazz is Dead. Do you do any other collaborations or session musician work or anything like that? So we all are individual freelance musicians. We all work and play with different artists and we tour and compose and write, produce. Um, but in terms of the catalyst, uh, we're entering our third album and this album will have some more collaboration. But as of now, that's the only uh, collaboration on, on Wax. We've done a lot of live performances, collaborations with uh, different established artists, a lot of singers and rappers and things like that. And we have an additional Thursday show at the Speakeasy where we like to feature, you know, an, a guest artist and, and do collaborations with them. Um, so it's definitely been our bread and butter. I mean, I, the first gig we actually ever did was technically we were playing with Keisha Cole. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. awesome. Uh, which is crazy. Yeah. yeah. I uh, mean, like technically this group is just a big collaboration. Like everybody in this band is are artists in their own right. Like Corbin has a big band, right. Jonah has his own group, uh, right. Otis, everybody's doing their own thing. So um, yeah, we just kind of thrive on collaboration. Do you have that established residency? Is that how folks can come see you as in LA at the Speakeasy? Yes, every first and third Saturday of the month. Awesome. Are you planning on touring when you put out your new third album? Absolutely. Yeah? <laughs> More work from Brian Hargrove. Nothing else to say right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We're excited about touring. That's amazing. We can't wait we, to see we, you on tour. We, we, yeah. Do you have a, a release date yet for the third album, or is it TBD? We're, we're still cooking. We're yeah. still cooking. It's still in the oven. Letting awesome. it marinate, you know? Man, you took my words. No, yeah, that's like came up Challenge with yourself, man. You. <laughs> I, I, I invented that word. That's one of the unique things that's I think about, like, uh, came up with. like, the Jazz is Dead, like, project versus, like, our stuff. So we did the Jazz yeah. is Dead project basically in, like, one weekend. So just two, um, basically, like, you know, two attempts, and that was pretty much it. We put it out. But our own record, we really kind of take the time to, to really craft something unique. And so I think that's one of the reasons why we really try to, you know, cook as much as possible. <laughs> to, to be honest, I mean, we had actually done, I think, three full records before we released our first record. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, between different studios and different methods of trying to record, I think when we first started, we were trying a more traditional approach where we come in with songs and we play live together. And uh, we finally realized that we just need to approach things differently. And once once that hit, everyone kind of felt like, oh, this is, this is our thing, so... Um, you know, we're actually sitting on a lot of music <laughs> outside of even the record we're working on right now. So um, I think once we get the ball rolling, it's just gonna there's gonna be a lot more music. Snowball. Yeah, snowball effect. Awesome. Yeah, so we need to know where the fans are so we can come see you. Now they know where to find you. That's right. So that's good. Yeah. Do you have your own studio that you're working in to record your album, or do you have uh, an idea of where you want to do that? Uh, it's funny you mention that. Uh, that's one of our missions in the near future. That's one of our short-term goals to to you know, create and, and, and obtain a spot where we can just create, you know, and just harness all of these ideas and, and get them out. Build your own Catalyst studio? Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. I hope, I wish the best for you. I hope that happens very soon. Much Cannot wait to hear new music from you. Um, so how can people find out more about you? Do you have a website? Yes, we do. You can find us at Catalyst Collective, uh, Catalyst with a K, Collective with a C. We're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you name it. Um, we have a YouTube channel. We can see some live videos that we've done in the, uh, before. We'll probably be putting some up from this tour as well. So, yeah, you can check us out pretty much everywhere. Perfect. Check out Catalyst. They are awesome. It is Catalyst live on KXPM. DJ Morgan, thank you very much. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Thanks. Hey, do the sign, man. Do it. He's, work, he's working oh, on the... Oh, you got to sign. You got to sign off? His hands, are, his hands are shaking. Yeah! Yeah. Awesome. Wow. It's close. Ta -da. Beautiful. <laughs> nice. And we're going to see you tonight. Yes. We're going to have oh, yeah. your set. Real excited. <laughs> yeah. Yo, shout out to Henry Franklin. Brian Jackson, Duck Karn, all the good people at Jazz is Dead. It's, it's gonna, we're going to have a good time. We're playing some classic tunes. You definitely should. I don't know. Is it just one stage? Wherever we are, come find us. We're about to light it up tonight for sure. Sounds awesome. Time to light them up. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.